What makes a better birthday present to a girlfriend? Jewelry. Jewelry and a tractor. Here it is in all its lichen and moss covered glory. I believe it is a 1954 Case DC4 with, I believe it's a factory Eagle Hitch Delete. There's no extra, you know, linkage pieces left or brackets. It's just the factory drawbar frame. It is a foot clutch. It's rather tired. It's lived a lot outside, I would say. But it's knee deep in rubber, as some of the guys have said to me before. So I'm going to start using that term because I like it. Um, it was stuck when I bought it brother hung on the hand crank and it does turn over with the hand crank now um, as you notice there are no plug wires or spark system of any kind it should have had a magneto on it nothing no magneto at all no distributor at all I have one off a of Farmall 100 I believe that's gonna work and I've gone through it cleaned it up it was all the motor on the Farmall 100 stuck we bought it as a parts tractor for our 140 in case we ever needed anything. And because it had fast hitch on it, we thought, well, maybe we want to put fast hitch on the 140. Um, haven't got much to it yet other than the motor stuck on the 100 and we didn't mess with it. And I saw the distributor on it and thought it looked like the one that was swapped onto my brother's S Orchard. And it is indeed the same one and it will work with that drive. I may have to make some shims to get to sit in there differently, you know, lengthwise, but I think it's going to work. Um, basically, all I've done to this is I had a battery on it. It cranked over. It sounded really bad, but it, it did crank over. It was really slow, even with a 12-volt battery on it. But the old battery cables probably have something to do with that, and the fact that it was most recently, very recently, stuck does not help. So I'm going to pull the spark plugs out, throw some penetrating oil down in there, and let it sit for a while. I got the wrong size socket. I guess it's uh, not 13 sixteenths, but it's 15 sixteenths or 7 eighths. It is a 7 eighths socket for the plugs that are in here anyway, which are champions we're going to do away with those and put some auto lights in there probably um the hood's not the greatest if i found another hood i would totally be happy putting it on it was restored at some time but the decals are peeling off um pier doesn't look bad but there's a lot of like little dings and dents that weren't quite filled out with bondo and for Western Pennsylvania, I mean, the tin's not bad, being it's a 54, it's not exactly new by any stretch. Um, but I've seen lots better. And if I was going to restore it, which I think I probably will, being it's not a real common tractor, um, being it's a 54 with Eagle Hitch Delete that I think is a factory Eagle Hitch Delete, foot clutch, foot throttle, um, DC4, I think... I'm probably going to restore it. It's just a matter of time and money because it takes a lot of both of those things. And I don't have a lot of both of those things at the moment, but it's not, uh, it's not real level there. We're going to pull the plugs out and see, uh, see how bad the plugs look and get some oil in there. Being how they came out, I'm not super surprised, just a little bit surprised. So number one, a little bit of carbon buildup. Still nice and clean though, as far as old tractor plugs go. Same with number two, the little bit of, looks like condensation um, caused rust there, a little bit of that. Doesn't look bad though. Number three was kind of tight getting it going and makes sense because the threads are pretty rusty. In the end, there's not real great either, but I mean, one piece of sandpaper and it would shine up and run. Four came out decent, but it looks awful. I'm guessing it's three or four that caused it to be semi-stuck. <laughs> 